Hello video editors. In this video, we'll explore the functionality of Random Wiggler, an extension that brings wiggle and random expressions to Premiere Pro. If you prefer not to watch the video, you can right-click on elements to get a short description of their functionality. Values within input boxes can be changed with a mouse drag. Hold Shift for numbers to change faster and Control or Command to change them slower. Let's start with the wiggle settings. You can adjust frequency, number of wiggles per second, amplitude, maximum variation from the original value, octaves, layers of detail in the wiggle, octave multiplier, influence of each octave. If you never used last two parameters in After Effects, keep them at default. You can choose to wiggle only the X or Y axis for position and other two-dimensional properties. You also have the option to loop the animation by toggling this checkbox. Here, you can change the duration of the loop and the unit type. Before we go over the random settings, let's see how to apply effects. At the bottom, you'll see icons representing properties of the transform effect, position, scale, rotation, skew, skew axis, and opacity. If you click one of these icons, the transform effect will be applied to the selected clip if none is already applied and the chosen effect will be added. You can also set up motion blur for the applied transform effect. The wiggle can be rewritten to the same property, so you don't need to delete the effect yourself. You can right-click the scale icon and choose to animate scale width and height separately. The stopwatch icon on the left will apply the effect to any property. To target a specific property, toggle animation for it by pressing the stopwatch. The property needs to have one or no keyframes for the effect to be applied. Now, let's go over the random expression settings. Here, you choose the interval within which a random value will be generated. To apply random values to position or any other two-dimensional property, press this button. You might wonder why interval values are set this way. It's because Premiere Pro measures coordinates in proportion rather than in pixels. The top left corner for X and Y is 0, the middle is 0.5, and the bottom right is 1. It might sound confusing at first, but measuring position this way is more convenient and universal. Here, you set the interval for newly created keyframes. They can also be random within the specified range. You can also choose the type of newly generated keyframes. It can be default linear, eased, hold, or even random. Now, let's take a look at presets. You add them by pressing the plus icon. A preset will have a name generated that reflects its values, but you can rename it to save space. Don't worry about forgetting the values of each preset. They will be displayed when you hover over them. If you click a preset, its values will be saved in the main control box. If you right-click a preset, you can edit or delete it. During edit, a check icon will be displayed near the preset being edited. Click it to apply changes. You can edit anything, even change the type of effect. For quicker preset use, set up keyboard shortcuts. Right-click any preset and go to Shortcuts. Here, you can set up modifier keys for every property, so when you click a preset while holding a modifier key, the effect will be applied instead of being saved in the main control box. That covers all the functionality of Random Wiggler. Make sure to grab your free trial at aescripts.com. Cheers!